Hey guys, Sasha from Over Geeks here at Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona. This is my favorite device right now. It's a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I just love tablets. And uh, I just put it to full screen brightness, a full display brightness. Uh, this is on a Super AMOLED display. But you know what? Uh, let me show you something. Look at this little phone here. That's the very first Android phone with an e-ink display. So we got this from our friend Shaba from armdevices.net and this one is running Android gingerbread 2.3.5 let's go back to the home screen as you can see you have a message um, app uh, contact reader phone there are various applications on here let's try this of course the screen is a little bit slowish as you can see but um, at least you're getting about a month of battery life out of it and that's open where you let's, let's let's open the browser yeah. a month of battery life this no? screen is not calibrated but that should work oh the touch screen isn't calibrated here we go but it still looks like a website look at that well that is a website yeah yeah maybe it's just not connected to the internet right now it's connected to wi-fi Okay. Oh, maybe I'm not tethering straight now. And you know what? Let's take a quick look at the viewing angles here. It's crazy. And uh, we have here the volume control. Here's the SIM card slot, full SIM card, micro USB connector here. No camera on the back, no camera on the front, but an absolutely amazing display. 80 grams. 80 grams. And again, four weeks of battery life, right? And I think that is that is insane. At least one week in normal use. Let's go, let's go back here. And of course it also comes with a little ebook reader application. It's all in Chinese. Uh, it's supporting the EPUB file format. Let's see if my Chinese is good enough to open this. Uh, okay, can you please view this? Go back. Here we go. Is this a Bible? <laughs> I always have a Bible That's in like my bucket. That's like the Old Testament here. Oh, okay, All right. so what's the deal with this phone? Um, as you can see, uh, the refresh rate isn't there for e-ink right now. But we've been also seeing projects like the Yota phone, this Russian uh, phone with an ordinary display on the front and with an e-ink display on the back. But for people that just need to have a phone connectivity and maybe want to do messaging and they are somewhere where you just don't have um, a power outlet, this might be an amazing phone, especially when you're working in the bright sunlight. So this is uh, the very first e-ink Android smartphone ever. And I'm Sasha for Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.